Ever played Top Chumps? Yeah, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Today, I've got an Eco DMEV from Environment. Oh, have you? Yeah. Well, I also have an Eco DMEV plus LC. Eco DMV plus LC. Yes. Yeah. What's the Eco DMV stand for? Uh huh. So, Eco Fan DMV Decentralized Mechanical Extract Ventilation. Is that not just a fancy way of saying a continuous running fan with a facility to boost? Mm, it's decentralized, it's mechanical, it's extract, but they are continuously running, so I'll let you have that one. Okay, yeah. So, mine. Eco DMV continuously running. Eco DMV, yours is continuously running, as is mine, but with mine being the LC version, you also have an option to have an intermittent fan as well. So it's actually two fans in one. Can be intermittent, can be continuous. Oh, why do you want that? Depends on. What continuous fan? I want a continuous fan. Well, I mean, the, the advantage is if you're fitting a fan in a property already up and running, some of the fans in the building may be on off fans, so you need to continue with the same pattern. Two fans in one. I'll let you have that one. It's all right. Just one. Continuous running. I, continuous running, can adjust the airflows on the low trickle rate, and then you can also got a boost rate. I too can also adjust the airflows trickle rates and your boost rates. Bear in mind, this version I've got here is a humidity and timer version. Ah, just so happens that mine's a humidity and timer version. So it will track the humidity, sense it. It's a bit moist in here, I'll speed up to that boost speed. Or I can wire it into the light switch. I'll go in the toilet, get rid of last night's window, turn the light on, gets rid of all those smellies, and then it'll run on for a period of time and go back down to its continuous rate. Wow, fantastic. Well, mine too also has them same facilities as well. Note the word facilities. Facilities. Fell off the tongue. So, as we can see with this particular version, not only does it have all these features, it has additional features as well. So with the Eco DMAV, HT, LC, the plus version, uh, additional features can be such as nuisance running. If you're in a damp environment near the seaside, your fan may be coming on an awful lot when you're not in the actual wet room itself. So we have what's known as an interval function where if it runs for a prolonged period of time, over an hour, it will actually set it so it can turn itself off now for a time for eight or 12 hours. So nuisance running does not continue. And that's if you're near the sea? Uh, in any extreme wet climates. Might be on top of a mountain somewhere. I think I'll just move. You could. Who doesn't like the sea? There'll be somebody who doesn't like to see all that salt water. It's good for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll move on from that one. Okay. What, what else does what your else? product well, have? I've got this lovely blue strip across the front. Nah. Mm. Looks, Looks very nice, that. Beautiful. Nice, that. As you can probably see from mine, I also have a blue strip on the front as well. The advantage is with the blue strips is it can match the colour code of your bathroom. If it turns out you don't want a blue strip, Maybe you want to change it. Could actually change mine to a red strip. Put it in just there like that. Or in fact, even better still, if I put it the correct yeah, way it would around. Help you put it in the right way. Around, it would be, that's yeah. That would be very good for the audience. No, so. that wouldn't be no. We can't do it. There we go. Match up my red bathroom suite. It's cracking. Red bathroom that? suite. Love it. I mean, the other thing I say, mine's exactly the same. I can take the blue strip out. However. My red strip, to match my bathroom suite, is a lot better than your red strip. My orange strip um, gives you an option to be orange, but you can also have green and blue as well. So you've got four colour options there, but yeah, you could right. actually blend I in. I think I'll have that one because I know my colours. I'm glad you're not an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> red wire, blue wire, oops. So, um, any other features then with this fan? If I take the front cover off, just nicely. Back of here, you'll see there's nice filter goes. Mm -hmm. Stops the fan, because it's a nice small centrifugal fan, stops it getting blocked. When the filter gets dirty, it can be easily cleaned. Take it off, 
bit of warm soapy water, back on, back together. Beautiful. Ah, well, uh, again, as you probably guessed it, the LC version also has that filtration system as well. So we can see on there, your gauze type filter, mounted, cleaned, prepared the same way. So we can match that up as well. Do you have anything else? Young yes. Man? I've got what well, I actually know that yours has this as well to a, a certain extent, what we call constant volume technology. Oh. That's it. That's it. Do you know what that is? No, please explain. Okay, okay. I'm sure you do. You better do. You're in the wrong job. Constant volume technology. Basically, if it's blowing a gale outside, because mm -hmm. we're up in these high mountains where we are, near the coast, and yeah. it's blowing a gale, Maybe. to ensure that the fan maintains the volume of air that's been set to on that trickle rate, it will automatically speed up. So it's always giving you that required ventilation rate. Or, the added benefit of that, if that filter goes around there, starts to get blocked, the fan will start to speed up. Gets blocked a little bit more, speeds up a little bit more, starting to make a little bit more noise. It's basically going, clean me, clean me, clean me, Clean me. Wow. And hopefully when you clean it, put it back on, ah, it's all relaxed again. Go back down again, that sounds fantastic. Well, mine doesn't quite have the same sort of volume technology, constant volume technology. Constant volume technology. The volume technology, eh? The constant volume technology. A volume that's but constant. That would be the one. But with this, um, it does have other little features as well, benefits. Such as? It could be that if you needed to, say, go into the wet room, just grab a jacket, say you're popping into a utility room where the fan is sat in there, running continuously all the time, as soon as you turn the light on, that will in turn send the fan to boost. This has got an option with a delayed timer. So what you can do, jump in the utility room, grab your jacket, you've turned the light on to do so, come back out, you've been less than 50 seconds, the fan doesn't need to go to a boosted state. So it's a little delay timer there to allow you pop in, pop out quickly. I noticed you used a utility as an example there and not a toilet. Yes. Because what bloke can go to the toilet in 50 seconds? Have well, you tried timing yourself? Exactly. You've got to be quick. Sometimes can't get my belt undone. Well, yeah. That'll be it. 50 seconds to find it. <laughs> nope, nope, stop talking, go to jail. Oh. Any other features? I know it's earlier you mentioned something about intermittent. Yes. So the advantage with this being two fans in one, Bearing in mind, if it is an intermittent fan, so it's obviously not going to fight against the air going outside if it's very windy, when it is an intermittent mode, obviously you may get a little bit of air coming back in. So in a scenario like that, you actually get within the package a clear acetate strip, which is a backdraft shutter, and that is designed to clip onto the back of the fan. So that in turn, if you have any a windy day, it stops air breaching, coming back into the fan itself. I've got one of them in the back of mine. That's packaging. Is it? Yeah, it's packaging. We'll cut that bit out. Kind of cut that bit out. No. No, I don't think I will. One of the other things I've got. Yeah. With mine, it's a trusted install guide. Oh, wow. Well. Tells you how to install it. Everybody it gets an install guide. Well, yeah, but nobody. Bide? A bite, a guide. It will be a guide. Yeah, but nobody reads them, do they? Nobody reads them we'll anyway. Them. We don't need them. And then I've got one of these. All right, yes. yes. Free of charge. Do you know that is? Uh, toothpick. Exactly. Yeah, after your lunch, cleaning it. A bit of a clean. It's not bad. Clean your teeth. Just... So you can obviously eat and work at the same time. Advantage is I've got one too. And I can eat my yogurt with it. How good's that? Actually, I think what this really is for is to set the fan up. Oh. Because on there, there's some to set it up, as you'll find when you read the install guide. Right. Which we know you don't do. Yeah, it's a couple of little what we call dip switches and right. a little Got potentiometer you. for adjusting the fan. This is used to make those adjustments so you don't damage the parts on the PCB. Aha, right. So you're saying in turn what this would break instead of the PCB? Yes. Wow. 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 Right tool for the idea. right job. If you're a little bit heavy handed, you'll break this little tool rather than the actual fan. Ah. So yeah. what we can see with this then is. If this tool is not working, you've been too heavy handed and you broke it. The tool. Talking from the experience, fan. all I can say. And I think really what we're saying there is, while yours has a few more features, yep. both fans specified correctly in the right environment are perfect for ventilation as a continuous running system. 
or intermittent. Or for the if you want to still go with old re legislation, old regs, you've still got the option. So, fantastic bits of kits, either way you need to go. Cracking. Absolutely that one. So, all we can say on that, like, subscribe, watch more, learn more, and we'll see you soon.